I think everywhere in the world at the moment there is underappreciation of arts and culture. And in a great entrepreneurial place like Hong Kong, where finance and real estate have been very important, I think there has probably been an underestimation. But the truth is 10% of the UK economy is now driven by culture. Increasingly, as culture becomes an economic activity, as well as a very valuable, not only investment, but a place in which you can invest your hopes and fears, more and more people will see the centrality of art and culture to their lives. Art HK is beginning to be one of the major art fairs of the world. It's about time that Asia had global art events that were as important as the Venice Biennale or the Cannes Film Festival. And Art Hong Kong is a way of trying to draw, make Hong Kong a hub for a set of cultural activity, not only art, but educational events, other kinds of events. And over the years, Art HK will undoubtedly develop into a major regional and then global event. I think the great thing about this art fair is it brings the art from all over the world. So if you want to see a great European painter like Francis Bacon, you can see it. If you want to see a great Chinese artist like Ai Weiwei, you can see him. You can see Pakistani artists. You can see artists from the Gulf. Think of this as being the greatest supermarket in China. You don't have to travel all over the world to see the artists of the world. They come to you in Hong Kong. It's the simplest way. It's what the Europeans called a one-stop shop. One of the great innovations of the Hong Kong Art Fair in relationship to the South China Morning Post is to bring together around 12 galleries who will showcase young art. This is called Art Futures. And it's a wonderful opportunity for young artists to be seen by people who don't only want to buy the work, but just want to see young art. And it's a wonderful, and as far as I'm concerned, unique opportunity in the art fairs of the world to be able to see young artists. Everyone in Hong Kong should go to it. My role in Art Hong Kong is really to make everybody aware what a major event this is, not only for Hong Kong, but for the region and China also. China at the moment is moving from made in China to created in China, and it needs to produce some cultural brands. And I think Art HK has got the opportunity for being a global brand, not only for Hong Kong, but for the wider China. When I came to Beijing and Shanghai in 1998, culture was not very central to the world of China. I think what has changed over the last 10 years is culture and art are moving much more central. So if you take Hong Kong, West Kowloon, the Art HK, the various festivals, there's no doubt that tourism, the economy, as well as culture itself will more and more rely on the art and the arts world. So the arts are moving centre stage in Hong Kong and in China more generally. That's why I think China's moving from made in China to created in China. If you're a serious collector, if you're a first time collector, or you just want to see all the art of the world, then Art HK, which runs until Sunday and there are tickets available, is an unmissable event. Think how much you'd have to spend on airfares to see all the art that you can see in your own hometown. Mm -hmm.